More than 28,000 people were recorded sleeping rough across the UK at some point last year, according to research carried out by BBC News. The figure is significantly higher than the official snapshot, which counts the number of people on the streets on a single night. The government says it is spending record amounts on the issue of homelessness. Jeremy Ball reports. We're just going to move your blanket slightly to check you all right, OK? Nottingham street outreach teams are lifeline for people who are desperate. They're here every night, rain or shine, offering support. Last year they helped several hundred homeless people off the streets, but the more they look for people sleeping rough, the more they find. Quite scary. Um, I thought I was going to die because it was cold. Nowhere to go. To... It's not just the cold weather you've got to worry about, it's the, it's the addicts in town and that that you've got to worry about as well. You know what I mean? Kick, giving you a kicking whilst you're asleep. Rough sleeping is difficult to measure because so many people bed down out of sight. So councils across England compare the trends by counting or estimating numbers on one night each year. But leading homelessness charities say that annual snapshot doesn't reflect the scale of the problem. So now many councils record everyone found on the streets throughout the year. Figures released to the BBC show they identified over 28,000 rough sleepers across the UK over 12 months. The true figure is likely to be higher because a quarter of councils didn't respond. Some people may have been counted twice after moving to different areas, but other rough sleepers won't have been found. And this year the government's spending more than £100 million to take people off the streets. It's called the Rough Sleeping Initiative. It'll fund up to 6,000 bed spaces and 2,500 support staff. And the government says it's committed to ending rough sleeping by the end of this parliament. We're just checking you all right. We're not but really for the most right. entrenched rough sleepers, that's easier said than done. This man walked out of drug treatment. Okay. They think he's seriously ill. And the outreach team has a nurse to stop people dying on Nottingham streets. It's both a health and a housing problem, but we don't see many people sleeping rough now who don't have some kind of physical or mental health need. And the way to solve it is to recognise that people have a range of needs. It's not just a matter of putting a roof over their head. Hello. But the government says its strategy is already working. The last annual snapshot showed the first fall in rough sleeping for a decade. And tomorrow, the latest official figures will show whether that trend's continuing. Jeremy Ball, BBC News, Nottingham.